Yeah, you could go, no problem. Uncle Gandhi? Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> my name is Kevin Alonso. Fiji is Mam, Bisho Mabella. What's your name? Kelvin Ramchara. Who's your person that you are killed? To you? My son. What's his name? Selvin John. How old is he? 35. Was he working? Yeah. He, he, was, he, he works where? You just walk in the sea and fishing, fishing and, and little, little construction when you get, if you get. What time the, the it occurred? Yeah, about 11 o'clock. 1 p.m. Thursday night? Yeah, Thursday night? Yeah. Choose Monday night. Monday night? Yeah. No. Monday night? No. Yeah. Thursday um, night? Monday night? Yeah. 1 p.m. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The next killing happened Okay, what really happened? No, well, I was I living over here. Tell, we can't tell them. What you heard? I only heard the gunshot on them. How many shots? About 12. 12? Oh. Yeah. And next thing I see, wife running, coming, crying and bawling, and I went across and see the body on the ground. We received nine, they say, according to the police reports. We received nine. He has children? Yeah, four children. What age is he? Eight, eight, nine. eight, nine, and... Seven, five or something. Babies, babies. Three and the babies, seven months. Babies, yeah, babies. Any idea why he might have been taken out? No, I have no idea, no. I really have no idea. He had any enemies? I am do I I I know. I do I do I doesn't be home. I walk in. I only see him in the evening time when I come home. His wife around? No, the police take she last night. Last night? Yeah. So where he live? Which house? He live in right over there. Over where? Right. After this house here, the next house over there. This is the house where the deceased is, has been living. He was renting from whom? Who he was renting from? Jew. Tell me who lives here. Well, my son lives here and his wife and two children. And you have two children on the next side too, with another girl. How long has he been living here? He's living here about six months. Oh, he just came? Yeah. So when did you find out? Well, I was home. And I don't know, bed and come from work and bed and eat. And I was eating. And I heard the, I heard the shots. Mm -hmm. And when I heard the shots coming from here. And when I went, when a minute after, the wife was running, running, coming, calling me and telling me, I'm... Um, Selvin get shoot. Mm -hmm. When I come, I walk up the step here and I go and I see him lying on the ground dead. And I pull her blood. Inside the house? Inside the house. I have to ask you, please don't ride it. Any chance of I seen inside the house? If you could go, we could probably get a pass on the next life. Okay. Yeah. What you saying? They come through from here and I call them and they come out the bedroom and they start to the the upload it on him right here. bedroom there, you know on bed and you, you hear the desk door kick open mm -hmm. and he come out as he come out as he come out they start to shoot him and he fall right here you can, you can still see blood see because you wash the blood this morning the washing. Yeah. 
and you fall long on the face and the hand going back two hand backwards so and you and you fall on the face and a big pool of blood all here so it was blood all this whole thing here was blood so who took him to the hospital <clears throat> well dmo come for him dmo how long it took them to respond well the police was there mm. and the commander do, do, do what i had to do and wait on the dmo the body leave about half past minutes to three this morning about mm. five to three so what time it happened huh? Yeah, about 11 o'clock. The night before? Yeah. The night? Yeah. So this is his kitchen? Yeah. Sit, sorry? This is where, the, where you sleep here. The fire has shot through this move here too. Watch here. What's happening here now? Well, this, because look at fire, you can't do so now. Here, I guess so. And, and I've got paper, but I didn't find it. I don't know which part that it is, or which, if, he, if he had one or what. But he sleep here, and he, he had this bed, this this mattress here on the ground here. Mm. He just relax here sometime, and he's ready to sleep here, he go up here. Okay. So how do you feel about this? I feel good. Mm -hmm. Because even though if he didn't have a regular job, I said help him out and give him anything he need. You know? mm -hmm. And when you come, when you come, when I come from work in the evening, you go come by me. You go talk. You go breeze out on the line a little bit, right? You go come home and you go bathe and you go, you go do that. Cook. Your wife will be cooking food and things. And I didn't expect him this. I never expect him this. This to happen to him because. Nobody was, I never knew anybody was looking for him or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know that. I work, in, I work in seven days a week, I work in every day. I just know what's going on over here when I had to be, when I had to be um, working. When I come home in the evening, late in the evening, then I just talk with them and deal with them. Now. I never expected this to happen. Is he your first child? He's the first one, yeah. I have two three children. I have a daughter and two sons. He's boy, he's a big boy. Mm. So he used to look after you? No, he he's, I look after myself. Okay. I mean, because my, he, my wife died. Mm -hmm. And when when my wife died, he um well everybody was seeing myself at that time. But the, the mother he mother used to help you out before she died. Mm. Now I started to help him out a little bit. Long while have I seen him while I him. Yeah, for something I have to give him it. And so. <clears throat> Any idea of arrangements for burial? Well, my daughter go now in the day, I'm going to open up the polaspin. Right now, me have no money. I know how, how we do it all. We could get a little help or what we can do, you know what? I really can't see. So, if anybody wants to help you, you have any number you could give them? Yeah, you can take my number. Go ahead. Um, when we go back on the line, I have to remember my number. I'll get a number for my daughter. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So he was a fisherman, was he? He was not a permanent fisherman. Like when he got a little tired, he used to go out and walk. Let's see. He was not a permanent fisherman. But when he got a little tired, he used to go out and walk. Sometimes he got a little construction work, he go out and make a day work. And so. Call it out, girl. 736. 736. 2291. Say, in case anybody wants to help us with the arrangement. In case anybody wants to make an arrangement to help, I'll appreciate that very much. I'll be most appreciated. I'll appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. My son was a good boy. I don't know what he. Yeah, it's easy added, whatever. So you have all that. Where is it? He come to me, tell me. 
My son, boy, I don't. Boy, boy. Yeah, that's yeah, talk with him about your son. Yeah, my son was a good boy. Was a good boy. I don't he know if he had any issues with too. I don't know if he had any issues with anybody. its arms on a tree and in those arms I found compassion love's restoration 